Hello there, welcome to a new uh, Android development tutorial. First of all, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, after Christmas was last winter break, we're gonna start doing Android tutorials again. A uh, quick couple updates, uh, since, since, since from our last tutorial, Google finally released the Android Studio final version. We're gonna start using that. It's really easy to install like any other program. You just download, if you're on a Mac, the DMG file and install it normally, and if you're on a Windows, the exec. So once you have that installed, again, you don't have to do anything like you did in Eclipse, so I'm not going to do a tutorial about that. Just go ahead and open it. And today what we're actually going to cover is a really simple tutorial. It shouldn't take us long, but it's uh, how to develop a really simple user interface. Alright, so first thing we're going to need to do, since we're using Android Studio instead of Eclipse, that's why I'm going to use some features that Eclipse didn't have and are going to make this tutorial much easier than it would be if you were using Eclipse because of the automatic implementation features that Android Studio has. Alright, so as the first thing you should see, if you haven't used this before, you won't have any recent projects, so just go ahead and start a new Android Studio project. It's very similar to Xcode actually, so if you're familiar with that, you'll be preset. Application name, we're gonna name it um, Layout Example, and just click Next. This is really nice, so if you want to develop for Android uh, Android TV, Wear, or even Glass, you already can choose it really easily here. We're gonna just leave it unchecked. Notice we have to up to Lollipop without installing any libraries, it updates automatically. This is just like Xcode where you have uh, templates for certain, certain applications. We're just gonna go for a blank activity. If you guys wanna cover any of this, just, uh, just post it in the comments. And I'll, I, I mean, I don't know all of how all of them work yet because I just installed this a couple days ago, but I'll learn then do a tutorial about it. So just click next. Activity name, this is just normal, so finish. Now it takes a bit to actually, s actually set up the project, but once it's done, it's really smooth, much more than Eclipse in compile time, everything you want. It's years light ahead of it. Let's make this bigger. Uh, tell me how the how the font size is for you. If it's a bit if it's a bit small, I can change it. But I think this is pretty good. This is very good. It's a tip of the day. Since there's so many new things in Android in the Android Studio, I just keep it on to be able to see them because if you just read them one after another you won't really remember it unless you like have an amazing memory which I don't so just yes, close it and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new activity now if you were in Eclipse you would just uh, create a new XML and then you would create a new activity and sync them through the through the XML now because Android it's too you so nice just go to Java and here and we're going to say right click, new, we're going to say activity. Just go for blank activity. We're gonna name it my layout activity. Just go with my layout. And we could even say launcher activity here and it would, repl it would basically replace my activity in the manifest. But I want you. To, I want to show you how to do that manually. So we're just gonna say finish. And notice this is a nice part about Android Studio. It created the my layout XML file here, file here without me having to do it manually. And they are both synced already. If you go to the my layout activity, it's already set up as an activity, so you don't have to implement anything. So now let's just go to my layout XML and here it's really simple. Just make this a bit 
Now let's leave it like that. And we're going to just add a button to the center of the screen. Actually, I prefer it like that. And then we're going to add, we're going to add some plain text in the middle, which won't there. And here we can edit the properties of a of any objects. We're going to set the width to 100 dp. Now, what dp actually what dp actually is? It's a relative. It's an abstract unit of measurement. It depends on the pixel density of the device. So, it, independently of how much of the resolution of the device we are using, the the size should be pretty much the same. Now, this is different from having screens of different size sizes. So now that we're done, we have to go to the Android manifest. Space this out so it's clearer. We have two activities: the main and the layout that we just created. Now, what we want to do is have the activity we just created as the, as the launch activity. We could have just set the click launcher when we created it, but we can also do it here. And the only thing you need to do is put my layout activity, the name of the class, in there, and that will do it. Now, because we don't because it's already set up in here we have to change it ma to main activity because it's saying uh, Android Studio is saying hey you're using this you're declaring the same activity twice there's something wrong here so we're done we can just go ahead and run it normally if you're now I'm using an emulator for this tutorial if you're using a device it'll ask you you can set that set that up the first time you you run it. Now let's just wait a bit. We're gonna choose this emulator for the next five and okay. There we go. Here we have an our edit text. And it, this doesn't do much since we haven't really implemented any functionality, but that's about it. Also, uh, important to notice, Android Studio is pretty much mandatory from now on, so if you like T-Clips, if you were one of those people who like actually like T-Clips, I haven't met anyone yet, uh, you're gonna have to install Android Studio anyways, because Google is, uh, is not supporting it anymore, so updates of their SDK won't get to Eclipse anymore. Uh, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope to hope to see you again.